Billy. It's Billy with Engadget. We're here at CES 2013. We are at the QNX booth, and we are currently sitting in a Bentley that's been outfitted with QNX technology. And so we're going to get a quick uh, explanation and walkthrough of the displays. Yeah, so we basically took a stock Bentley and ripped out what was what it came, what it came with and put in these state-of-the-art displays. And the center stack is TI digital light projection screen. Um, it's kind of atypical in that it can have a curve. Um, it's a 17-inch display, 1080p. The curve actually matches the radius of the human arm. Um, it's very ergonomic and it allows you to touch everywhere on the screen. It has a physical knob that can actually be spun. Oh, wow. um, and that kind of helps reduce driver distractions. It keeps your eyes on the road, you can feel around for the knob. Um, the digital instrument cluster is actually made up of two displays, a 10 inch and a 7 inch, and they're extremely dense, they have extremely dense, they have high pixel density, uh, near retina quality. It makes for a really sharp looking display, and since it's, a di since it's digital, we can reconfigure it. So we can you know, change the dials to match your upcoming navigation. And if I want to go do some gambling at the Wayne Casino, I just pop that into my nav, and in a couple seconds you have your directions pop up on the screen. And it helps you kind of plan your route, you know what lane to be in. And if you're tired of seeing that, you can kind of get the media information, which is also shared on the center step. And again, if I change zones, that gets updated. All this is running on the QNX Car2 platform, um, so it's basically what we're selling to OEMs and Tier 1s. Um, we've ripped off the reference implementation and redid this app uh, using Storyboard, which is a UI framework similar to QT or HTML5. Um, one of the other really cool features in here is that we have uh, video conferencing. I'm not sure if there's someone in the booth, uh, <laughs> but maybe we'll get to the phone. Can you get the film? The film? <laughs> uh, so, um, from what I understand, this is disabled when the car's in drive, and it only, the video conferencing only works when you're in park. Yeah, the car's that's right. Uh, so, there we go. There you go, hi, Phil. Um, the voice, though, is really um, the, the crown jewel of this communication. Right. Um, it's really high quality audio. Um, it's so high quality, I'm going to let Phil speak to it. Oh, okay. How are you doing? How's the volume in there? Oh, uh, it's good. Excellent. So what you're, you're listening to me in full uh, audio bandwidth, so 20 to 20 kilohertz. And that's our vision for how mobile communications should be. And they actually can be. We've actually done dem demos from car to car uh, with this kind of quality. But there's a little bit more to it. Uh, if you're doing car to car, it's helpful to have a spatial sense of who you're talking to. So if you're talking to the driver, then the driver should sound like they're coming from the driver's seat. And if you're talking to the passenger, it sound like they should be sound like they're coming from the passenger seat. So that really actually helps in uh, when you're having a long conversation. It just makes it a little bit easier and actually a little bit fun too. The other big advantage of this voice codec we're using is that me and Phil can actually speak over each other with no yeah, degradation so of the sound quality. You're not, uh, There's no stuttering or anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more cool thing about it is the quality of the codec. The codec isn't ours. The acoustic processing in the device is ours. But the codec is good enough quality that can pass uh, music of very high quality. And our acoustic processing can handle echo cancellation on both sides. So I can actually stream music, project music, into the phone, into my room, and also into the Bentley, all at the same time. And we can have a nice can still talk over it. Yeah. And it's right over top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot, Phil. All right. Thank you. So in addition, um, to the video conferencing and the navigation. Um, any other notable features? Yes, um, the phone is connected to the cloud. Okay. Uh, the car is connected to the cloud. Right. So it's constantly relaying status information okay. up to um, a server, which can then relay that information to any number of clients. So I just have my smartphone, and all I need to go is to a URL, and I have what we call a virtual key fob. Right. And I can control different aspects of the car, such as the windows. So with the press of a button, I can raise all the windows in a car from anywhere in the world. And we can also send nav instructions to the vehicle, we can get gas mileage, trip history, and 
and a whole slew of stuff. And the best part is, since it's all central, you can take long-term trending of this information. Right. And again, display it in any form, on your desktop, on your tablet, on your phone. It's all just HTML. So in addition to all the other cool features, we also have a 3D rear view camera. In addition to these displays being super high, having super high pixel quality, they are 3D and glassless 3D as well. And so I'm just going to switch to the rear view. Now this is in 2D mode, but with the touch of a button, I can switch it into 3D mode. And it's, the technology is still very new. And so it's really dependent on where your head sits, right? Um, but you can still kind of get a feel to what it would be like to have a 3D rear view camera, which is has obvious advantages to, to right. Being. So I know a lot of our readers would love to have a Bentley outfitted with this technology, but what about um, other maybe more consumer-friendly vehicles? Do you, is there a plan for implementation in those as well? Yeah. So kind of the purpose of this demonstration is to inspire all the car companies right. and the integrators in what's possible. And if they just take one or two of these features and put them into mass-produced vehicles, we're happy. Right. Mm. All right. Well, it's been great. Everything looks great. Um, yeah. And I got to send a Bentley for a few minutes. So thanks a lot a for doing it. Yeah. Thank you.